and solve this rational equation. Got 1 over 5x minus 10 plus 1 fifth equals 7 over x minus 2. First step is give rid of parentheses, don't have any. Second step is to give rid of fractions. Now, before we can do that, we need to factor all of our denominators. This uh, 5x minus 10, this is the GCF. Uh, they both have a 5 in common, so I can factor that out. And that leaves me x minus 2. Now let's start with the numbers. We'll start with the 5 first. I'm looking for the greatest number of 5's in any single denominator. There's 1 here, 1 here, none here. So the greatest number of 5's in any single denominator is 1. Then I go to my next factor, the x minus 2. I'm looking for the greatest number of x minus 2's in any single denominator. There's 1 here, none here, 1 here, so it would be 1. The answer to that question is almost always 1. So that's our LCM, and that's where we'll multiply everything by. We'll multiply it times our first fraction, the 1 over 5 times x minus 2. Multiply it times the second fraction, the 1 fifth. And we'll multiply it times the fraction on the right side, the 7 over x minus 2. Now these 5's cancel here, these x minus 2's cancel. These 5's cancel here, and these x minus 2's cancel. So let's see what we have left. Uh, those are gone, left with 1. And here we got 1 times x minus 2, which is just x minus 2. Over on this side we got 5 times 7, which is 35. Now you should always combine together numbers at any step. 1 minus 2 gives us negative 1, so we got x minus 1 is equal to 35. And um, we want to um, do step three now. Uh, step three says to get everything with an x on one side and numbers on the other. So take negative one to the right side. Remember, you take anything over across equals sign changes, so it becomes a positive one. And 35 plus one gives us 36. Now we need to check to make sure this doesn't cause zero in any denominator. Um, it's a pretty good, pretty good bet that it, it won't. Um, but if we plug a 36 uh, in here, 5 times 36, I don't know what that is, it's like 150 something, minus 10, that's not 0. If I put 36 here, 36 minus 2 is 34, that's not 0. We don't care what it's equal to, we just want to make sure it doesn't equal 0. So that would be our answer.